Hello, let me take you through that enter text step that is used in conjunction with other steps such as click element or select lists to enter data into web forms, specifically inputs. Okay, when you add this step to your axiom, it will often appear as it does on screen. It'll be read and it'll be prompting you to complete the step. So the first thing you need to do is select the text field. That is very easy to do. I click on the button, as you can see on screen, select text. I then hover over the input that I want to select or the form field and I click. That input is then selected. Now 99.9 .9 times out of 100, that will be sufficient. And that selector will work and the text will be entered when you run your axiom. But if you do have any issues, try reselecting it. And also we have this custom feature that allows you to select elements by text, to input custom CSS selectors and to pass CSS selectors from a data source like a Google Sheet. We won't go into too much detail about those. There are other lessons and tutorials available for showing you how to use custom CSS selectors with Axiom. We'll continue on showing you the rest of the step. So I press complete. My selector is set up. Next, I need to pass the value into, I need to pass the value into this step through Axiom. How do I do that? Well, I can hard, if I'm testing Axiom, I can just hard code some data in here, like test, for example. But if I want to pass some data from a Google Sheet or from a webhook, I can insert data by clicking on this button, as you can see on screen. I've got the Google Sheet to select, and I can choose my column of data from this preview. Press Save and Close, and now I'm passing data through my intertext step into the web form when I run this Axiom. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for trying Axiom.